This code sample includes the video element. We specified the autoplay attribute because we want it to start working immediately as soon as a stream of data arrives. We also have a button so we could stop the video capturing. Pressing that button, as you can see, will invoke this function and this function will assign um, simple empty string into SLC and invoke the stop method on the object which represents the stream of data coming from the camera. Over here uh, we uh, assign the window.url and if it doesn't exist then uh, window.webkit URL to the URL property of window. So from uh, this line forward uh, we could use this property without any problems in those uh, web browsers where we should use uh, webkit URL instead. Uh, using the, th the same technique we assign the property get user media with one of the those available uh, properties in various web browsers so we could simply refer get user media and it will work here in this line video is assigned with uh, the reference for the dom object that represents this uh, element we also create a variable camera stream just so we could uh, assign it with a, a reference for the object that represents the stream of data coming from the camera. Now over here we check whether the web browser supports uh, video capturing. If it doesn't then a message will be displayed. Let's say it works fine and the web browser supports, meaning that this expression is equivalent to true. When this is the case, here we invoke the getUserMedia function and we pass over an object um, with the properties audio and video specifying that we want to capture both uh, audio and video. The next argument is the function we want to be invoked in uh, the case of uh, success. So if everything works fine this function will be invoked and uh, the stream parameter will be assigned with uh, the reference for the object that represents the stream of data coming from the camera. So the first thing will be to assign camera stream the variable we created with the reference for that object that represents the stream of data coming from the camera. The next thing would be assigning um, the SRTC property of the video object with a reference for an object that uh, wraps the stream of data coming from the camera. We can get that object in a very simple way by calling window.url.createObjectURL passing over the reference for the um, object that represents the stream of data coming from the camera. When this function executes we shall get on screen over here the, the stream of data, the video capturing uh, using the camera of the device. In the case of a uh, problem this function will be invoked and in our case uh, we just uh, displaying simple message to the user. Okay so let's see how does it work so I refresh and as you can see I get a message saying uh, do you allow uh, getting camera and microphone data? Let's say I allow that and here I am.
as you can see and if I press stop it stops